All right, RGV, today on Valley Puerto Vida, we're breaking down some interesting facts about some of our favorite childhood memories and toys. We're also introducing you to uh, our Pet of the Week segment brought to you by Best Friends Animal Society. We're inviting you to a special upcoming gala in honor of education and talking about how you can get involved in our uh, local community. We've got all of that and more. The show starts right now. Hey again, and thanks for, so much for joining us today. I'm your host, Danielle Bonda. Now, how about comic books and collector's items? Again, I mean, these things definitely bring us back to our childhood and give us a sense of nostalgia. And oh, we've got to look at a local comic shop that has even more of those things. And we're giving you a peek into that world right now. Hey guys, welcome to Kaboom Comics and Collectibles here in McAllen. It's my temple to pop culture that I've built over the last uh, 11 years. And we have a huge selection of comic books, toys, everything pop culture from old comics to brand new comics to a huge Silver Surfer statue, a hot and carbonite, action figures, posters, we have it all. And here we have a whole bunch of awesome Batman stuff. We got Christian Bale, Batman, one of the best Batman, and an awesome Batman symbol. Everything from Batman to G.I. Joe, one of my personal favorites. And something that swept the nation over the last decade is Funko Pops. We have a ton of Funko Pops. These things are so collectible. They go up in value. Basically, if you remember Beanie Babies, uh, they retire uh, these particular ones after a while and you can't get them anymore and the price skyrockets. Uh, the only difference between Beanie Babies and this is that there's always a new fandom for them to make figures of, so it just keeps growing and growing. So if you're new to collecting figures, uh, maybe you don't know this, the value dramatically decreases without the box or if there's any damage to the box. Sometimes the box is worth more than the actual figure inside because especially if you're looking at old collectibles like the original Optimus Prime and Transformers, you know, the kids ripped open the box to get to that toy to play with it. So those boxes, especially in good condition, are super rare. That is awesome. And in keeping with our theme of childhood memories, we're going to go ahead and focus today's fun facts segment on some of the more interesting aspects of our favorite things when it comes to what we played with when we were growing up. Now, according to FNUcompany.com, apparently Mickey and Minnie Mouse weren't only a couple in the animations. The site says that the two individuals who voiced the characters, uh, Wayne Allwine and Russie Taylor, actually were in a real relationship in real life, just like Mickey and Minnie. I mean, if that isn't the best love story of all time, I don't know what is. And a lot of us loved Legos growing up, right? Just like Mickey and Minnie. Well, apparently the toy got its name from the Danish phrase leg got, which means to play well. And the site says that these fun blocks can really be used to build a lot. It just takes a little bit of creativity. In fact, it outlines that leg bricks, um, Lego bricks rather, can actually be used in over 9 million different configurations. It's crazy. And you know that really fun game, Operation? Probably played with them, like Legos. Uh, the Operation game I wasn't too good at, but I was, you know, admittedly really excited to play it as a kid. And the site says that the patient uh, that we were always operating on actually had a name. That's right, you were actually dissecting Cavity Sam each time you played. 
I don't know if you knew that, but here's another cool thing that I never knew. Uh, if you're a fan of Kermit the Frog, then did you know that the beloved character was actually created to be left-handed? And if you ever played with a hula hoop when you were younger, then you might be surprised to know that the toy was actually one of which originated from Australia. It's interesting because the site says it was intended uh, or initially used rather as an exercise tool in gym classes all across the country. And then later it ended up becoming popular in the children's toy sector. And another thing that we most certainly remember from our childhoods probably involves crayons and a lot of them. <laughs> well, the site outlines that the, world, the word Crayola actually comes from a combo of two French words, cray meaning chalk and oleganese meaning oily. So essentially a crayon <laughs> refers to oily chalk. It even says that crayons are so popular that every American uh, will have at least used up 730 crayons by the time they reach their 10th birthday alone. But uh, what else, uh, you know, that we probably n never knew about and maybe something that we forgot about growing up uh, maybe involves our childhood pets. See, once you have a cat or a dog, they just become a part of your family forever. We know this. Uh, you love them so much and take care of them so well that often they don't even realize they're a pet. In fact, our childhood cats and dogs stay in our hearts forever ever, no matter how much time has passed. And those memories are ones that are definitely gonna make us smile like we never have before. Open, opening up you know, your home to an animal is truly life-changing. And whether you're currently a pet owner, never have been, or haven't been in a while, there's something to be said about just how much joy can come from our furry companions. So our team went ahead and visited with a local animal shelter to introduce you to one heart who's in need right now of a forever home. So here's today's Pet of the Week segment brought to you by Best Friends Animal Society.